So you all know that I have the 12.3 inch Android head unit for my FG Cruiser. I discovered something recently that increased the capability of it and I just wanted to share that with you today. In one of my previous videos, one of the drawbacks that I mentioned about this head unit was that I could not turn the screen off. And I gave an example of whenever I'm driving my kids home at night, the screen can sometimes be a distraction because they're always trying to look at the screen and see what's going on on it even though it's just the same thing. So as any parent knows, turning off the distractions are definitely helpful. So uh, one thing that I said that I didn't like about this was that I could not turn it off. I did mention that I could turn the screen off. However, if I've got music going and I want to change the volume, then the screen brightness comes back on. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so here we have some music playing and let's pretend I'm driving at night and I want to turn off the screen. So what I got to do is press this X button and hold it and basically the screen goes off. So if I want to change the volume up or down, I would use my steering wheel control. So I'm going to make the volume a little bit louder and you can see that the screen comes back. If I really wanted to turn it off, turn off all distractions, I would have to mute and then turn off the screen, right? But I'm going to go into my menu. Uh, there's a steering wheel keys menu option and here you can map uh, the steering wheel controls to whatever you want it to be. So here we have the volume up, volume down. We've got the mode button, previous and uh, next track. Phone call pickup, phone call hang up, and then the voice command here. So these all correspond to these uh, eight options really on the steering wheel command. So we have two, four, six, and eight. Here we have two, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right? So these all correspond to something. So the customization to these steering wheel options is twofold. Let's start with the um, volume up, right? If I start with this, or if I tap this, right, it'll select it and it'll say the key has been defined, press steering wheel key will change. So if I press it again, it will allow me to go in here and select options for what I want this button to do. And right now, Clearly I want it to be volume up, right? But you'll notice here that it's, it gives you two options. It says, please select short click and please select long click. So really I can turn a singular function on this steering wheel control to two functions. So in essence, I, I have eight buttons here on the steering wheel. However, I can, I can map all of these things to have two functions. So really I can have 16 different functions here. You can go through and there's an option here to turn off, right? You can turn off, this will take you home. This will take you to the previous screen. This will take you to menu. Here we have the volume up, volume down, mode, navigation. Uh, I don't know, don't know what this is yet. We've got a mute option, Bluetooth phone, pick up the phone, hang up the phone. Looks like this is contrast maybe. Uh, microphone, stop, track back, track forward, reverse, fast forward loud, select, menu, AV in, music, equalizer, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So you can really see the different customization options. And then over here, you see you have a long click option. So it's basically the same thing. If you hold it as a long click, it will give you a second option. So that's pretty cool. Going back to the example of trying to get my kids to fall asleep while I'm driving them home. Let's just map this. So we're going to select this by tapping it. And then, so short click, let's set it to, yeah, it's already set to mute, right? And then long click, if I wanted to set it to turn off the unit, that's an option that I can do. And then I've got to save it. All right, so let's say I got some music going on, right? And I want to mute it. I just got to press this once and then you'll see it's mute on, right? And then I tap it again and it will mute off. Okay, so let's say I want to turn it off, right? I don't have a physical volume control where I can tap the button and it'll turn off the head unit. Uh, I've just mapped it to turn off the whole head unit when I press and hold this. If I want to turn off the screen and the music at the same time, I just got to press and hold and you'll see that it powers off. And now none of these will do anything because I've turned off the whole head unit. So if you remembered my previous follow-up, one of the gripes that I had was that I couldn't turn off the head unit completely. Well, here is the option and uh, I've been able to program it through the steering wheel control. So if I want to turn it back on, I'm just going to press and hold and it comes back on. So 
So that's pretty cool. It gives you another eight options of controls and uh, I think it makes it a little bit more versatile than I initially thought it was. So that's really cool. So now that I know that I can turn this off, um, you know, I've mapped all of these different functions to have various controls, but you guys get the idea. There's a ton of different options here. You've got eight steering wheel controls and uh, essentially you can turn that into 16 controls. All right, so I hope that you found that helpful and informative. And this is something that I recently discovered that I thought might help out people who purchase this head unit. If you do have these volume controls, then it's it's a great option. Um, I, I really like it. This is a, a mod that I completely do not regret. If you were considering this head unit, I hope this was helpful. I'll leave some links in the description down below uh, as to where you can purchase these head units. If you want to check out my full review, there's a video that you can watch and that'll give you the whole lowdown on what I think about this head unit. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee or show some support for my channel, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can do that as well. And uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video.